urinating too much at night, frequent urination that disturbs your sleep, is a bad experience. But not even urinating at all seems to be worse than that because your heart is usually at great risk when you do not urinate. However, if you are often visiting the uh, toilet to urinate at night, that is not a sure confirmation that you are diabetic. A lot of people are in a hurry to say they are diabetic because they are urinating. Now, when there is an imbalance in your body, you are likely to experience this urination. There have been occasions when I hadn't taken enough water during the day. The body comes asking for it at night. And so what do I do? Is to take the water. Because if you don't take the water, the heart is at risk. The toxins are there. there are, the body is so smart that when there is that imbalance, especially if it has to do with water, the body will, won't want to compromise or negotiate or discuss with you on that. It must get that quantity of water. And so when there is no urination at all, I go for water, even at night, before bed. I do it. And then after taking the water, I get myself ready for the urination. Then later on, go to bed. But if it continues to happen frequently, then there are four nutrients. I want to share this video that may be missing in your diet. And you need to start including them. Avoidance of too many foods could predispose you to low potassium. Foods like bananas. Some diabetics or pre-diabetics are running away from foods like bananas, foods like sweet potatoes that are good sources of this nutrient, potassium. And over time, if there is an imbalance between potassium and sodium, obviously it manifests sometimes with frequent urination. And so all you need to do is to bring in those foods and take them in moderation. Ripe bananas, unripe plantains, sweet potatoes, and several other good sources of potassium. Some are not high in calorie, like the ones mentioned. Foods like even sour soap leaves is a source of potassium. And so you need to go for the potassium rich foods. The next thing that could also cause you to start urinating, the next nutrient that you may need if you suspect frequent urination may be fat, healthy fats. Then you need to start including nuts. But during the night, for instance, you don't need to go for nuts, inflammation causing nuts like peanut. The best nut I will recommend for you is almond. It will not spike your sugar. It will also not likely, it's not likely also to raise your blood pressure because it has a good balance of both magnesium, calcium, a lot of nutrients. It's my best choice when it comes to trying to control the urination. As long as it's not water shortage, I normally like to take almond, about two or three almonds soaked. As a matter of fact, a few nights ago, I had had to take one of it. It's so potent. Just one. I was so much in a hurry, I didn't have to soak it. Just remove the pills and ate it, and it was, and it worked perfectly. And so, you need to include cashew nuts and several other nuts to get these nutrients, and then healthy fats to help control. Because without fat, your body finds it difficult to control, including the urinary tract, including your blood pressure and several others. Number three nutrient that you may be missing, may be missing complete protein in your diet. If you have not taken enough protein, you start urinating. The body, the, 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 the sugar is too much. You start urinating because what you have given your body are not things that are needed to repair. And so you start urinating. It could happen for a night. But if you observe it and you think you haven't taken enough protein, you need to go the next day, go for protein. That's what we call balancing, giving your body what it's acting for. And the next day, it, will, it won't happen again because you have supplied the protein. When protein is missing, and the best protein 
are pro complete proteins like boiled eggs. May not be every day. We know it's high in cholesterol, but start if you include it, you will observe that that urination may not occur like that. Now, calcium rich foods also helps. You need to sometimes you could soak chia seeds ahead of the night if you suspect frequent urination. I mean, the previous night, and you have been avoiding calcium rich foods like. Uh, milk like i mean soya beans a lot of things for various reasons you may need to soak a few chia seeds it's loaded with nutrients that your body need you need to soak eat nutrient dense food and you will observe that it's going to control the frequent urination most times it is because your body is lacking in most of the essential nutrients to work at night and but worst of it, if you suspect you hadn't taken enough, enough water, for instance, don't compromise that. Take the water, that's what I do. And then prepare for the urination. You may urinate twice or three times. It clears your heart. Your heart is free. And then you can sleep. Then the next day, you watch out for the food that we are missing the previous day in your diet. And then bring it in. And you are good to go. That's all. Don't forget, don't take anyone too much. Moderation remains our rule. Why food is our medicine. Click the subscription button if you are coming for the first time through this channel. Thank you for watching.